Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to unbox the Almag One Pulsed EMF device. Pulsed EMF stands for Pulsed Electromagnetic Field Therapy. Now, if you followed my channel for a while, you know that I'm a strong advocate of Pulsed EMF. It's one of those modalities that's safe enough to use at home. It has copious amounts of medical research to back up its efficacy in managing types of disorders, particularly chronic pain, acute pain, and even some organic disorders. Now the way pulsed EMF works, it's based on the fact that any living organism emits very slight magnetic fields. Magnetic fields are produced whenever charged particles move within a conductor. Now in the human body, those charged particles are ions such as calcium and potassium and sodium. They could be proteins, they could be nerve impulses. Nerve impulses which are basically created by the very quick movement of sodium and potassium through the neuron. And any type of molecule is gonna have, your DNA is gonna have some, some slight charges on it. The idea is that when you get injured, when something physical disrupts that, let's say it is a sports injury where you break a bone, it's going to affect those magnetic fields, those movements, because you're affecting the physical nature of your body, of those tissues. Now, with Pulse DMF, what it can offer is an externally applied magnetic field in the same frequency, natural frequency of the human bodies, but a little stronger, that'll go through your body and help normalize those magnetic fields. The best example of the importance in my opinion, of intact magnetic fields are your cell membranes. Now your cell membranes are the covering of each cell. Obviously there are many types of cell in your, cells in your body with different functions, bone cells, muscle cells, nerve cells, liver cells, stomach cells, etc. You get the idea, kidney cells. Now each cell has a unique function that membrane that covers the cell allows things into the cell and out of the cell. The cell is a little tiny ecosystem and that membrane is what allows it to manage itself. It's like the doors that let things in and let things out. So if that process is weakened, whether by an injury or some disease process, then those processes of letting things in and out of the cell are going to be encumbered. And when that happens, that will obviously affect the cell's ability to do its job. That's gonna manifest as symptoms. And depending on what cell is affected, it's gonna be symptoms in that area. Okay, so this is the unboxing of the Almag One pulsed EMF device. Open the box. First thing you have is the user manual. So the main thing here is when you get your device, inspect it, inspect the wires, make sure there's not anything that looks frayed or damaged. Okay, these things are pretty sturdy, but you definitely want to handle them gently since you're dealing with electronics and wires. Indications for use. And it's going to mention here musculoskeletal system diseases such as osteochondrosis, osteoarthritis, arthritis, epicondylitis, gout, bursitis, myositis. It says injuries and their after effects such as bone fractures, internal joint injuries, post-traumatic joint contracture, wounds, soft tissue bruises, hematomas, ligament and muscle injuries, post-traumatic edema, ligament and muscle injuries, post-operative wounds, i.e. surgical scars, keloid scar. It mentions neuritis, facial nerve neuritis, radial nerve neuritis, right, peroneal nerve neuritis, sciatic nerve, i.e. sciatica, trigeminal neuralgia, all right, that's facial pain, occipital neuralgia, pain in the back of your head, the base of your skull, and intercostal neuralgia, pain between the ribs, vertebral column and spinal cord traumas, disorders of the spinal cord, disorders of the spinal blood circulation, and it goes into 
pancreatic diabetes and diseases of the venous system, like deep vein thrombosis of the lower leg, chronic thrombophlebitis, and varicose veins. Please uh, note that we cannot say that this device can cure these diseases. Again, the idea is that we're trying to impart a positive physiological effect on the cell membranes so that they may function better. But whether or not they're going to cure these diseases, that's something we can't really state with certainty. Now the contraindications to this, to the Pulse DMF device, is pyoinflammatory diseases in the acute phase, severe recent acute uh, injuries, those requiring obviously emergency care, pregnancy, systemic blood diseases, oncological diseases, i.e. cancer, thyrotoxicosis, alcohol intoxication, and don't use it if you have an implanted pacemaker in the treated area, ICD or implantable cardioverter defibrillations or an internal insulin pump. Don't use it in those areas. It mentions that if you have metal screws or plates from a previous bone injury or bone disorder, that's not a con it is not a contraindication for therapeutic use of this device. All right, so read those instructions, and it gives you little diagrams, and I'll make videos of these at a later date on how to position the device on your body to treat various disorders. So take it out. This right here is the control unit. It has a You'll see it has a green light to, note, to indicate that it's on, and a yellow light will indicate that the mag magnetic field is being generated. This is the magnetic coils where the magnetic field is induced. Just lay it out like this. It includes a magnetic field indicator. This light lights up in the presence of ma magnetic field. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Now it doesn't have an on and off button. You plug it in. That's the only thing that, you know, in America we're not typically used to that. We're used to a power button, but in this case, it's, it's no biggie. You just plug it in to get it to start. So you see the green button indicates that it's receiving power and the yellow, yellowish-orange button, which is the work button, which means that it is generating an electromagnetic field in these coils. So the current comes in, goes through these magnetic coils, the moving electricity in the wire generates a magnetic field that comes out in 360 degrees, okay, orthogonal, 90 degrees to the source. Let's check this out. Let's put this here so you could see that green flashing when it's in the presence of the magnetic field. Place this on the treatment area. You could see that it's bendable. You could place it around a limb. You could place it on the back of your leg for sciatic, for example. You could place it along your spine. You could place it on your shoulder, down your arm, and I recommend you get some elastic bands to secure it in place because you could see that it could slip off if you're in an upright position. And there's many ways to use this. Again, you could position it around your, your knee, for example. Hold it in place like that if you have knee osteoarthritis. You could even try gently putting your feet on top of these. If you have foot pain, lay your arm over it. Okay, focus it on a wrist. Form it in a circle. Okay, after plugging it in, the device does shut off automatically after 18 minutes. You would have to unplug it and re-plug it in to activate it again. Generally speaking, when you start out, it's recommended that you do three times a week as at a minimum uh, sessions daily and it could range from one week 
one to three weeks until the symptoms have resolved. And then after that, you would just uh, use it as needed. Well, that wraps it up. In summary, the Almag One is a middle range pulsed EMF device that is great to have as a home therapy modality to self-manage acute and chronic types of pain. It may also help with other types of disorders by virtue of the pulsed EMF effect on cell membrane. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.